Frank Barnes is doing, he, he, he envisaged a number of areas where the Women's Committee could be uh, of benefit to the Opera House. And he put these proposals to us and there were all, most of us who were on that committee had some involvement with the arts, whether the, the, the performing or whether the graphic ones. And so we unanimously decided to work to create the first archive of theatrical memorabilia in Australia. There was, and we have a very proud record of performing, performing, um, and this this needed to be encouraged and enhanced. And this is what our committee set out to do: to make people aware. Uh, that the uh, this this committee was was very desirable. The Sydney Morning Herald did a um, a half page on the fact that this was going to happen, and the uh, the ABC picked it up uh, on their program, and it went national, and nobody had heard of Annette Kellerman. Mm -hmm. For years, you know, she'd just dropped out and everybody thought she was dead. Mm. But she'd come to, back to Australia, to the Gold Coast, and she was living there with, with her husband. And he died not long after that. And she teamed up with her sister, because her sister was a widow and had no family. And uh, they lived together in Angler's Paradise. And in uh, Angler's Paradise, uh, Annette and her sister were watching the news and they saw an eight minute segment on this mm. and, uh, and Annette got tremendously excited and she said that's where I want my things to go remember Mips? Um, she said we learnt to swim in Cavill's floating bars where mm. the opera house is now and she, she said that's where my things are to go